Hi, honey, I'm home. Huh? What have you been ordering? a close shave. Alright, welcome to Team Muddy Sheep Reviews and uh, yeah, I've been a naughty boy and I've been shopping on Hobby King and I got something that I always fancied and that was the Vampire EDF. I've been fancying it for a while, a friend of mine bought one and it sounded absolutely amazing and what I liked about it is our flying site is not that clever with the for, for landing and taking off so I've got the undercarriage so that it can uh, take off on the undercarriage then it will retract and I can fly around and then I can barely land it because it's got a nice rounded fuselage so I've been fancying one for a while I was flying my EDF jet the other day the my Vulcan and I thought I'd need to get some more batteries. So while I was getting some more batteries, I thought, really fancy in the vampire. So I ended up buying it, so there we are. So what have I bought? I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna do a big unboxing thing, but I'm gonna show you what comes in the kit. Now this is the Canadian edition, so it's got the Canadian flags. And as you can see, it comes with the retractable undercarriage. It's got servos installed but obviously there's no uh, controls so you need to put the control rods and set it all up. What I'm going to do with, with, with the hinges I'm going to put a bit of blenderm tape down the hinge which will give it a bit of a longer life durability. It, just, it seems a really nice joint but finish it looks pretty good. It's uh, like a metallic silver but it, yeah, it doesn't look like foam. <laughs> As you can see, there's a ESC and an EDF all pre installed. Aerostar 60 amp. Not the best quality, but sufficient. I don't know whether you can see, there's little wired cables put as a, um, as a steering mechanism. So the servo looks when they were obviously comes up, the servo uh, controls the steering with little uh, little wired pull and push pull and pull uh, wires booms apparently they've added carbon fiber to the booms can't feel it or see it so hopefully it's there one of them's got the servo cable inside whatever can it be there's no top to it so what's going on here oh. Look at this. We got an itty bitty pilot, look. I suppose we'll sit in there. Oh, that looks silly. He's not even tall enough. He's, this is not a Canadian one. He's, he's a little, he's a little lumper lumper in there. So I'll have to have a look, see if I got a different pilot or prop him up. Put him on a little wobbly thing. <laughs> the elevator. Same again. Servos installed. And what's about it? And apparently there's carbon support in there. It is firm. It is stiff. There's no, no, no bend in it. It's with some hardware. So you don't really want to see me stick it together, do you? Any new models, before you do uh, set it all up, make sure these hinges are, are nice and free. They're quite tight. And that means all of them. I 
I don't want to waste my time building it if things don't work. So always check everything, always pays. Just check the EDF unit. I'm going to use you who pour, but there's overspray paint on it, so I'm going to get all the overspray off. You got one chance of gluing this, especially when using you who pour. When it goes together, it sticks. So what I'm going to do, I've got this Hobby King glue, which is not so much contact adhesive. I'm gonna smear that around the edges. So it's almost like lubricating it as it slides in. So the faces of the, the wing and the fuselage are gonna meet with you who pour. And I'm gonna use this around the edges. So in it goes, perfect. And that will be a good solid bond and those wings won't be coming off. One thing to be mindful of is this boom has got the cable in it for the elevator. As you can see there's a little hole there. So you need to put the boom, boom on first before you glue the wing into place to the fuselage. Otherwise you won't get this wire in. So, but clean the paint off. And here it is built. All I've got to do, I can put the crook control horns on. I put some blender tape, which is medical grade tape, which is very flexible to support the hinges. I put a little bit of, um, Cell tape uh, tab because this magnetic mount it uh, it tends to snap shut and then you can't get it apart. So with the tab, it's easy. Well, after gluing it all together, it was a bit fiddly with the with the with these and the wire going through the things. So we sort of all had to do it almost in, in one go. But I thought these uh, these booms feel a bit flexible. So what I've done is cut a slot down there and I put a carbon fiber brace in there. So a lot of people said the carbon fiber, it stiffens the boom, but they don't come all the way through into the wing. So you catch a tail and they snap off there. So what I've done, I put a carbon fiber strip in there and I've covered it with tape so you can't see it. Same there. When I glued it all together, there was a recommendation to take this bottom cover, which is the EDF cover. The reason being, if you don't take it off, then you'll have hell's own job to get it off in the future because glue will have dribbled down. I've been made aware that the center gravity and the instructions, which I haven't got the instructions, I've done it without the instructions, is somewhere by there and everybody's saying, Bring it forward. I think it was on this uh, on this line. They said it's about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check on the on the internet to see how many how many mil back off that uh, leading edge and get an idea. But it is more forward than what they say. It's better to be slightly nose heavy, and um, and they reckon it flies a lot better. So I'm going to double check. I'm gonna have a little read tonight and hopefully be ready to maiden very soon. It, uh, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna fly it with a 3300 uh, 4S battery and that should be ample. So uh, I might do a few little changes because I don't like the everything running off the ESC. Mm -hmm, a bit dodgy. So I might uh, modify it and put uh, my own back in there. Uh, I've got a 5 amp back, so I'd rather put it as a separate one, so if the ESC packs up, then at least I can fly it back down uh, and glide it down with control. So, yeah, it's a uh, bit fiddly, a bit fiddly gluing the wings on, not hard, obviously not difficult because it's only gluing it on, but I'd like to do it a nice job and I was all fingers and thumbs with my with the glue, but uh, no, it's in there. It's all done. It's all pretty level. Everything looks right. Yeah, you can't go wrong. <laughs> there's no, there's no, uh, there's no way about it. That was the only thing is the, getting the wire in there. That had to be glued on there. Bit of a silly design, really. To uh, 
to get the cables in because it was so because it was so tight in that gap there you couldn't put the servo cable in after bit of a shame but it'd be nice to have had a channel where you can take the servo cable in without having to so we can glue it all together and then put the servo cable in rather than having to do it while you're gluing it it's, it's a pain in the yeah so everything's uh everything's ready to go i'm quite happy with that very uh very retro so next up will be the maiden hopefully and uh all i can say is go buy one and build it thank you very much for watching team Willy sheep reviews and the build and the introduction to the canadian edition vampire